ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் செல்வ பிருந்தா அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆர்டிஃபிஷியல் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் அண்ட் டேட்டா சயின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ராங்கோ இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜி ராஜபாலி இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் சம் ஆஃப் த பேசிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பபுள் ஷார்ட்டிங் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஹவு பபுள் ஷார்ட்டிங் ஒர்க்ஸ் அண்ட் அனலைஸ் இட்ஸ் டைம் காம்ப்ளெக்சிட்டி நவ் லெட் அஸ் ஹாவ் அன் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் டு பபுள் ஷார்ட் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் பபுள் ஷார்ட் பபுள் ஷார்ட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் a simple comparison based shorting algorithm so this algorithm repeatedly steps through the list to be shorted compares each pair of adjacent elements and swap them if they are in wrong order so it is called as bubble short because it is similar to the movement of an air bubble that rises up in the water so the larger bubble will rise first and the smaller ones will flow into it so likewise in bubble short the larger element in the list bubble up to its correct position in each iteration so here comes the working of bubble short so the bubble short starts with the first element it compares the current element with the next element if the current element is greater than the next element then both the elements are swapped if not move to the next element so repeat the steps 1 2 3 until we get the shorted list to understand the working of bubble short algorithm let us take an unsorted array so the elements of unsorted array is 5 3 8 6 7 and 2 so now in iteration 1 we start with the initially two elements that is 5 and 3 compare both and check which one is greater so here 5 is greater than 3 so swapping happens here that is 5 is replaced by 3 and 3 is replaced by 5 then the next two elements that is 5 and 8 is compared so here it is in the proper order so no swapping is required next the next two elements 8 and 6 is compared so here 8 is greater than 6 hence swapping required so 8 is replaced by 6 here and 6 is replaced by 8 here then the next two elements are compared that is 8 and 7 so it is also not in the sorted order because 8 is greater than 7 so swapping is happened so 8 is replaced by 7 and 7 is replaced by 8 finally the last two elements that is 8 and 2 is compared so here 8 is greater than 2 hence swapping is necessary so 8 is replaced by 2 and 2 is replaced by 8 so now we reach the end of iteration 1 even now the elements are not in shorted order so we perform iteration 2 now so the same procedure is repeated so first two elements are compared that is 3 and 5 it is in the shorted order so no swapping has happened here then the next two elements that is 5 and 6 is compared it is also in the proper order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 6 and 7 is compared it is also in the proper order proper order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 7 and 2 is compared so here 7 is greater than 2 so swapping is needed here so 7 is replaced by 2 and 2 is replaced by 7 next the last two elements that is 7 and 8 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required here so we reach the end of iteration 2 even now the list is not in shorted order so now we perform iteration 3 so here the first two elements are compared that is 3 and 5 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 5 and 6 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 6 and 2 is compared here 6 is greater than 
so swapping is necessary so 6 is replaced by 2 and 2 is replaced by 6 then next two elements are compared that is 6 and 7 so here it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is needed here then the last two elements that is 7 and 8 is compared so it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required here so now we reach the end of iteration 3 even now the elements are not in a shorted order so now we perform iteration 4 so now the first two elements is compared that is 3 and 5 it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is necessary then the next two elements that is 5 and 2 is compared here the 5 is greater than 2 so swapping is required that is 5 is replaced by 2 and 2 is replaced by 5 the next two elements that is 5 and 6 is compared so it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is necessary then the next two elements that is 6 and 7 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required then the last two elements that is 7 and 8 is compared here it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required so we reach the end of iteration 4 even now the list is not in the shorted order so now we perform iteration 5 so here as usual the first two elements are compared that is 3 and 2 now 3 is greater than 2 so swapping happens so 3 is replaced by 2 and 2 is replaced by 3 then the next two elements that is 3 and 5 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 5 and 6 is compared it is in the shorted order so no swapping is required then the next two elements that is 6 and 7 is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required finally the last two elements is compared it is already in the shorted order so no swapping is required so we reach the end of iteration 5 and now we can see all the elements are in the shorted order so we give the input as unshorted array and we have make it as a shorted array through five iterations and next one let us see about how the bubble shot coding is done in python so initially we have defined a function called bubble shot so this function takes an array as input then it iterates through the array using a loop that goes from 0 till length of the array minus 1 which means this loop controls the number of iterations through the array then the variable swap is initialized to false this variable is used to optimize the shorting process if no swaps are made during an iteration it means the array is already in shorted order and the algorithm can terminate yearly. Then there is an inner loop that goes from 0 to length of the array minus i minus 1. So this loop iterates over the unshorted array. So inside the inner loop the adjacent elements are compared that is array of j is compared with array of j plus 1. So, if the current element is greater than the uh, next element, they are swapped. So, if any swap is made within the inner loop, the swap variable is set to true. If no swaps are made, it means the array is already in shorted order. And the outer loop terminated using the break statement. So finally, the shorted odd array is returned. So here we are providing the array of elements 64, 34, 25, 12, 22, 11 and 90. So this uh, line that is shorted array equal to bubble short of array 
This line calls the bubble shot function passing the unsorted array as argument. So this line will return the shorted array. Next, the print of shorted array. So this line prints the shorted array. So that's all about the coding of bubble shorting. Next, we discuss about bubble shot complexity. So here we have three cases. One is first case, next is average case and next is best case. So worst case uh, is nothing but it occurs when we want to short a list in ascending order but it is arranged in a descending order. So that is the worst case. So the worst case time complexity of bubble shot algorithm is BICO of n square. So here this n indicates the number of elements. Next is average case. So it is nothing but when the list is arranged in a jumbled order. So that case is considered as the average case and the average case time complexity is big O of n square. Next comes the best case. So the best case occurs when the list is already arranged in the desired order. So the best case complexity is big O of n. So the key takeaways from the bubble shorting algorithm is first one it can compare adjacent elements only. If you have n number of elements you have to do n minus for comparison and number three is it is not suitable for larger data sets. So that's all about the bubble shorting algorithms. So I hope this video opens up a glimpse about bubble shorting algorithm and the concepts behind it. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.